Hi everybody, it's Catherine of Art Paper Joy and welcome to day 13 of Defemember. Do you think I might be getting the hang of this by day 13? I'm not convinced, but I have done some preparation. So I've got my journal page ready and I've been looking at some other channels who are doing this challenge and I've decided that my pages haven't got enough background on. So I've added some stencil background to this page and I'm veer trying to veer away from the browns in everything. So I've got some turquoise and green and a little bit of purple in this one. I don't know what I'm going to do on this page, but it's just going to be a single page, I think, this design. The prompts today are acetate and banner. I'm not taking things quite so literally anymore. So for acetate, I'm thinking vellum. This is some vellum that I have had, well, I've had it for 10 years. It was in my mum's stash again. And it's really quite thick and nice, this vellum. Vellum is paper that's been really, really highly pressed and polished. So it's almost transparent. It's not. It's sort of translucent. But I'm counting this as acetate. It's very difficult to work with because if you put any water or wet glue on here, it recoils and shrivels up. I've done stamps on here. I've done two stamps so far. And I'll show you the stamps that I'm using. It's a set that I got from the charity shop. Um, it's the Stained Glass Collection by Kate Knight. And there are four different designs and they're all lovely. Um, and it's still in its original packaging. It says 2016. So it might still be available. And I just mounted it onto my acrylic block and used my stays on permanent black ink. The prints came out really well, but I wanted to colour them in. And that's always tricky with vellum. So I did a trial and I thought I can always stamp them again. It's not the end of the world. And I've been using my oh, oh hoo hoo. I never know how to say that. Aqua Natural Brush Pens. And I probably got these about three years ago. So I don't know if they're still available. I got them from Amazon, but... Um, and they're little watercolour brush pens. They come in about 30 colours and I've had a lot of fun with them. When I first got them, I was using them in those colouring book type things, you know, the really intricate ones. But they're useful for all sorts of things. And just by playing around, I've discovered that if you are very careful and you don't put too much on, you can colour in vellum. So I've just been doing these little sort of adding bits of colour so that I get this stained glass window effect without getting the vellum to wrinkle and bubble up and go berserk. My second one isn't as good as my first because it's hard to do it at a strange angle when you're filming. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> so what's the plan here? Well, I've got my acetate component and then I've cut some book page triangles out. And they're sort of bunting flavoured. <laughs> they're bunting shaped. And I thought that will make a banner. Uh, when you hang bunting up, I think that counts as being a banner. I've also found this die, which is a Polaroid die. And when you cut out, you end up with something with this square hole in. And this fits exactly so that my stained glass window can be in place. So I'm going to make some Polaroid stained glass windows with my acetate, which isn't really acetate. I need something for the frame so I've cheated a bit and I've made a digital masterboard 
so I've just done that and printed that out this morning these are all sorts of images from my printables a few butterflies some random numbers and I've just put them in mixed them up and printed the whole lot out onto an A4 sheet and that's what I'm going to use to make my die cuts of my Polaroid borders when I did that the first time, I ended up printing and not checking what was in the printer tray. So I printed the first one on labels. So I've just been cutting these up into bunting shaped triangles as well, because they make they might make a nice addition to the background. I was going to put the little book pages on the pocket and this is something I already had made up and it's just you know a journaling card well a tag and I've added some stickers it's got a butterfly and it's got some sort of inking up and stenciling and I thought I'm going to put that as the pocket at the bottom and then if I end up with two of these they will stick out the top and I can have some banner background on the page I could also put a little banner on this pocket couldn't I so let's see how we do this is where I am so far I've got one of the die cuts done and I've made it a bit longer by putting the die right at the end of the plate so it didn't cut off here and I've left it so that it go, went to the end of the page and I've just trimmed it's a little bit wonky there but I think I'm going to have to trim again and then I've put the vellum onto the other piece using some of the spare labels that I've had so it's not actually glued down it's just held in place and then I'm going to use some of my labels again to cover this and hold the vellum to the card and then I'm going to use the tiniest tiniest dots of glue at the top just to hold the two pieces of card together right I seem to have got away with that <laughs> but I realize that the good side here is the wrong side here and the right side here the good side here is the wrong side here I don't know if it really matters but I was just thinking as I've saved this I might just cut this out and stick it on there and yes I could make it that into a pocket but anything in the pocket will cover that up so I'm just going to glue it all down and that will strengthen the whole thing first one I've learned quite a bit from that um, I'm going to have to get some new labels printed because I don't see how I can do it without the label and I've just run out I finished my second acetate tag and it's turned out okay I made it a little bit longer I didn't film it which is just as well because not only did I make some of the same mistakes I made on the first one I made a whole tranche of different mistakes as well I think the main problem is that this border is so narrow and when I'm trying to put the vellum inside that and leave a gap it becomes very difficult I can see I've got a little gap there so I'll do that off camera instead I thought we'll see how it looks on the page I'm going to put the pocket down here and then put the two acetate tags into the top like that and it already looks quite good against that background so maybe I'm going to stick with putting the banner just on the pocket I'm just going to leave them as they are because that's just a nice contrast and I didn't even ink them up 
Um, I might just add a little bit. I think I've just got some vintage photo on here. I'll just add a little bit like that. But I do need a string to hang my banner on, don't I? And I'm just going to use my gold Posca pen and hand mark it in. I want that to stick down really well, so I'm just going to clip it together until it dries completely. This is how everything turned out in the end. And although I did have a little difficulty with the vellum, I really like the sort of see-through stained glass window effect that it's given me for these cards. There's no real journaling space here, so this is just a decorative page. But I could always get a journaling card and put it in there so that I've got something behind those two decorative cards. As I've got a matching page opposite, I thought I'll use this tomorrow and I'll do a sort of little mirror image with a different piece of ephemera in the pocket. So see you tomorrow. Bye.